Hi, I'm Andrew Corbett, and I want to say thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to take a moment just to tell you a little bit about myself. Not that I think that I'm anyone special, but it's always nice to know who you're talking with and who's talking to you. Firstly, I'm in my office. My office is a part of Lagana Christian Church, which is in Tasmania. I've been pastoring this church, Lagana Christian Church, since 1995. So as of the recording of this, I'm coming up to my 25th pastoral anniversary here. In that time, my family's grown. I now have four children. Two of my children were born here in Tasmania, and we've got one left at home. My other children have grown up and have gone on either to university or to work, and uh, one of them's even, or actually two of them have moved interstate as well. I have uh, one married daughter, and she's been married for a few years now and is living in Victoria, Australia. I, I love where I live. Uh, Lagana is the Aboriginal word for fresh water. And where I live here in Tasmania with my wife, Kim, who I'm happily married to and been married to for uh, about 33 years or so now, is just such a beautiful part of the world. Lagana is famous for apples. It was one of the, the largest apple growing regions in Tasmania and Tasmania itself was known as the Apple Isle because Tasmania supplied most of the apples for the British Commonwealth for a long time. When I grew up in Geelong, Victoria, the what I like to refer to as the home of the greatest AFL football team in the universe, I grew up going to church every Sunday. I was taken along to St Matthew's Anglican Church in Geelong and it was then in that church experience that I had an encounter with God. And that encounter led me to realize that I needed salvation. Even though I'd gone to church all my life, I recognized that I was a sinner who needed a savior. And at about the age of 15, corresponding to undertaking confirmation in the Anglican church, I became a Christian. It was about a year or so after that that my parents had become intrigued, interested in Pentecostal things. And there was a whole lot of circumstances behind that. And this was probably around about the height of what was known as the charismatic renewal. And about a year or so after my, my conversion to Christ, going from being just a churchgoer to be actually becoming a Christian, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And there was some phenomena that, is, ha, that has been and to this day continues to be associated with that. I worked uh, a job and I, I worked in retail for, became a retail manager with a large company and managed just over a hundred staff. Uh, when I then left that and I moved to Melbourne, Victoria and became, um, well, I, was, I, was, I went there to become a youth pastor and it was a small church and to be a part of that, I had to get a job. And so I worked for Australia Post and I worked for Australia Post for six years and it was a great job. I loved Australia Post. Australia Post was just a great company to work for, but it allowed me to be a youth pastor. Then I became an assistant pastor and then I went and pioneered a church in Melbourne, Victoria. And I was there for a few years and then the Lord called my wife and I and at that point, we had two very small children uh, called us to come to Tasmania, and that's where I've been ever since. My, I hope it's my, my passion that people will come to know and understand God's Word. And that's why I do a daily Bible reading. You'll see, read the Hello Bible with me. It's a daily Bible, Bible reading, reading and it's my hope to take Joshua people through the Bible in a year. I've done some other Bible reading things as well, which I've put on YouTube. I've done a chapter a day and things like that, which I did a few years ago, and you'll still see those there. You'll also see some of my preaching videos from Lagana Christian Church, and you'll see that I care deeply about Christianity and about how we can have good reasons to believe that the Bible is actually the Word of God and it's true. I don't generally try to pick an argument, but I do try to respond to some attacks at times that are made against Christianity and the Bible. And so you'll see a lot of what I do is in the field of what's known as eschatology. And this became a real interest to me 
because I had heard so many strange ideas about eschatology that I, I, for a long time I put it on the back burner and then something happened which I talk about in one of my books, the most embarrassing book in the Bible, which is my, essentially my explanation of the book of Revelation, where I had to get this sorted out because of something that happened in my family. And as a result, I have come to what I consider to be a pretty reasonable understanding of the book of Revelation. My website, andrewcorbett.net, has hundreds and hundreds of articles associated with the book of Revelation. You'll also see a couple of books that I've written there on the topic, particularly the Olivet Discourse, which is Matthew 24 and 25, and the entire book of Revelation as well. I've had the privilege of lecturing around the world. My books have been published overseas as well, and that has enabled me to be a guest lecturer at various colleges and universities around the world, particularly Old Roberts University uh, in London, and also a Table College in Australia. And I'm now currently the president of ICI Theological College in Australia, which is the Australian Office of Global University. And so that's a little bit about myself. I thank you for subscribing to this channel. I, I am posting a, a daily video throughout the current year, which is Read the Bible With Me. And what I will do is when I have enough people ask me for a particular subject, a particular thing to address via a, a, a video, I try and get a supplementary video out as well. So most of those will be related to what is generally considered to be Bible prophecy. Anyway, uh, I also manage FindingTruthMatters.org, which is an apologetics and cultural commentary. So you can see issues related to culture and, and, and society and things like that on FindingTruthMatters.org. I really want to thank you for subscribing to this channel. And if you've got comments on any of the videos, I welcome them. Some, for those that ask questions, I try to get to those as soon as I can. My life is pretty full, but I get to them as soon as I can. Anyway, thank you very much for being a subscriber to this channel.